So today is the day we finally turn our old brooder room into our survival room. So if you've been following us for some time, you've seen past videos of this room housing chickens and ducks. It's where we've kept our newly hatched chicks, any sick animals. We would use these shelves to store extra food for the birds. Our brooders sat here. And we would store some of our feed here. So right now it's kind of a mess. I gotta get some of, of these storage items out of here and then kind of reorganize. I'm gonna get all of our five gallon water jugs onto their holders, just like this one. And then I'm gonna use these shelves to store all of my emergency foods that I have stacked up and they're taking up space in other parts of the house. survival room. I'll add to it as we get more things, but so far, so good. So I've got my distilled water jugs that are sealed, and above is my extra crock. I can't tell you how handy that has been in an off-grid situation when we have no running water. In this bag here, I keep old um, MRE heaters sealed almond milk, more water, powdered peanut butter. We've got more beans. These emergency buckets come in super handy. Their shelf life is 25 years. These are all the same variety. And then I started recently getting separate foods like rice and dehydrated potatoes. I got my lentils. Up here is my off-grid food strainer for summertime when I want to make my tomato sauces and diced tomatoes for canning. These water jugs are less survival items as they are current use items. This is our drinking water. This is what we drink and what we cook with. These buckets are storing black beans and pinto beans. And next to it, I have my off-grid laundry. And last but not least, my two sun ovens. So the last things to add right now are gonna be my solar bulbs and anything solar related is gonna go up there on the top shelf. Um, a lot of this stuff has not been used. I keep for emergency purposes only, but they're pretty neat. Each bulb comes with its own solar panel, can be recharged without electricity. And I keep that in the event that either we go completely off grid or the grid shuts down on us.